All right, David Harry here. Now, don't worry about how mad this picture looks. It probably looks a little bit blown out and stuff. It's all a bit wrong for exposure. It'll hopefully get better as I do this. What it is, I'm doing a single take thing here just so you can see exactly what's going on. So what it is here, I've got an Atomos Ninja 5. This has got 4K60 gameplay on it. So this is ProRes 422HQ footage on here. So let me just show you the back just so we can see what's going on. Got to be careful not to get too far away from the microphone. So as you can see, Atomos 5 or Ninja 5 and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop out the SSD here. So let me just put the Ninja over there. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach this, hold on, this SATA to USB-C adapter. Now what I'm going to do is just pop this into my iPad. Sorry, I might be going a bit, bit too far away from the mic here. So that's into the iPad. Yeah, I can see that on the screen. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn this round. Now, what I'm going to try and do here is just quickly rebalance the light and stuff. So I'm going to speed through this bit, but this is a single take. And you've just seen me take the SSD out of the Ninja and put it into the iPad. Now, let me just whiz through this and rebalance everything. Okay, so what it is, I've just done a jump cut, okay? It was not weird. What it was, I'd realised I already had the Ninja already kind of like showing up in the bin here. So... As I went through it and then I realized, I thought, hold on, I didn't show people me linking to the SSD. So what it is, I've just deleted the Ninja's SSD there from the bin. And it's just so that I can show you that we are actually connecting directly to it. So what I'm going to do here is go to add link to folder. There we go. And as you can see, Ninja 5 or Ninja V there. So let me just add that to the bin. There we go. What it was just then before I'd done the jump cut, this was already in the list. I just wanted to show you that I've added it to the bin there. Anyway, so let me tap on there. Now, the thing is, these are all the same file type. So like I say, this is 422HQ 4K60. We can see that it's coming up with 3840 uh, by 21660. And if I just kind of touch through here, we can see immediately that the preview window is seeing everything. Now, what it is, I'm just going to play through one of the files here because they're all identical as far as codec attributes are concerned. So... Let me just tap on that one there. <laughs> there we go. So just remember, this is all playing directly from the Ninja's SSD, just plugged in and being accessed via Luma Fusion here. So let me just start playing this. In fact, I'll just go, go a bit further into it. Hold on. Okay, now I could play that all day long and like I've already tested these takes thoroughly before I've done the video. In fact, I did all this last night, early hours. The thing is, this is just going to play these buttery smooth, for want of a better phrase, all the way through from beginning to end. Obviously, this is not editing at the moment, but anybody who's familiar with LumaFusion will know that if you can do this with the footage in the timeline, you are definitely doing a minimum of cuts only, so you can edit with this stuff. Uh, once you start like doing other things like adding colour stuff and what have you and effects, then sure, things are going to start slowing down, especially when you're dealing with progress 
just footage like this. It's ridiculous. Now, here's quite possibly the weirdest thing, or maybe the best thing, depending upon which way you look at these things. If I go to settings down here, as we can see, we are in HDR 10PQ, right? So this is actually HDR footage. So if I go to preferences here, also what we can see is as far as preview quality is concerned, it is in best as well. So this is just absolutely outstanding. Now, I appreciate you're not gonna be able to see the HDR here because I'm not recording HDR with the camera and most certainly not putting it up on YouTube in HDR. However, this is a HDR project, which was the way the footage is being like recorded from a ninja. Now, I appreciate you're looking at that and you're thinking, Lord on Dave, that's like three to aspect ratio video. Yes, it is. However, it is placed inside a 16 nine frame. So what happens because this because this footage originated from an iPad, what happens is the aspect ratio of the iPad screen just basically gets center pan scanned as it were into 16 nine. So this is a full 16 nine frame. It's just that the video content is sitting in the middle of it. Now, even if this were full screen or full frame, it wouldn't matter. It would be exactly the same. Any Anyway, as far as like you know how much um, like stress it would put on the system and that's because of the actual codec and the way the codec works with regards to the picture content and stuff won't dive into that if anyone's interested in that stuff I will do videos in the future about that type of thing to do with ProRes anyways there we have it <laughs> the bottom line here is LumaFusion is editing a Ninja 5 SSD plugged into it, not even like files dragged to it internally. And this has all now obviously gotten something to do with the fact that we are now on iPad OS 15, which has basically added or unlocked the ability to do ProRes. Don't forget, this is a uh, iPad Pro 2021 M1. The M1 Base Max obviously already had this facility or function. This has now just become apparent with the, the M1 iPad because it is now a function that's being opened within iOS or iPad OS, although Mac OS obviously could already do this. Now, I will be trying similar tests with the uh, the 2020 because that uses a A12Z, is it? Um, so it's a typical a, a processor. Also, I'll be getting an iPhone 13 uh, mini and I will also be getting a let's see an ipad mini as well these will be coming within a few days of this video going up i will definitely try everything to do with all the devices that i have for ipad os and ios to do with LumaFusion and the ability to play prores on them anyways i think that should do it for this video so the simple takeaway here is LumaFusion can play ninja 5 footage which has been recorded 4k 60 in prores hq by that you know by well by definition that's 422 as well inside oh yeah hdr by the way inside a well basically 4k 60 hdr project but more importantly as well is as we've seen it was being linked directly to the external ssd anyways yes uh, there'll be a bunch of stuff in the descriptions below to do with um, you know what i've been using here in this video and if you're into this stuff definitely definitely keep an eye on my channel possibly su sub to the channel and uh, you know get the bell notification icon because i'm going to be doing a whole ton of stuff now uh, to do with all this uh, like ios and mac os stuff and ipad os anyways I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.